Hello, it's Estrella with the reading for the collective. Wow, people are fighting. They're not getting along. Like fighting over crumbs or something. Wow. A lot of obsession, toxicity. It's like everything's coming back. Everything they put out. Well, wow, being shamed. This is not a convenient time. It has to do with the Two of Cups situation. Someone feels out in the cold with this love. Um, watch out for scammers soliciting you. Yeah, look at that. Magician reverse, devil. This is manipulation at its worst. Really dark behavior. Huh. Okay, what does the collective need to know? Will of Fortune reverse. Someone is receiving bad karma through a series of faded events. Maybe if they had taken different actions and they got to this corner things would be different it's like this whatever these events were or these situations or even like planetary alignments set up us us of like a set of circumstances and or energies i should say and you know Previous choices affect how these energies now affect someone's life. So I feel like that's what's going on or something even more grand than that, that is beyond, beyond like human explanation, you know, from this per perspective, but somebody is receiving some very difficult karma. This is like the fourth reading I've had with this wheel. Reverse, or the third, I think. Very prominent like that. So, someone's receiving this Wheel of Fortune in reverse. I wish they could go back. Something about this. It has to do with someone's milestones or home or celebrations. A balance, a structured environment from which to manifest from. Someone wishes they could go back in regards to that or they feel stuck. They might feel like their own milestones are stuck. Four of Swords. Someone's continuing on in spite of dire stress. They need to take a break. They know that in their subconscious, but... So they've been under judgment. Some sort of a wake-up call. It might have to do with this Six of Wands and Star energy. Someone's getting control of their environment, taking a leap of faith with this... A, sense of innocence it's like it's very clear to whoever this is that this star energy this born to shine very healing person uh, has gotten controlling control of their environment there's some sort of accolades or celebration around this person someone might feel like they made a mistake because whoever it is you know, it's like the universe or Gabriel, Archangel Gabriel, you know, has said this is, you know, it's like the final call for, for this person or about this person or about this person's direction. Someone might have done something here. They're receiving bad karma for what they've done, maybe trying to block this person, but the universe has a different plan. So, Wow, I mean, with Judgment and Wheel of Fortune reverse, this is very big stuff. Real, I mean, Star Chariot, Full Judgment, Wheel of Fortune. All very, very big energies. This is meant to be. 
this is meant to be. Someone was interfering with something that's meant to be. So they ended up changing their own life because the energy had to go somewhere. There had it. Maybe they thought they were doing something and maybe whoever was on the receiving end of this, you know, they, there wouldn't be karma here if someone didn't ha go through something because of what someone did. But now the recipient of the energies that they put out trying to block something that's destined for someone who is born to shine or a healer or like a visionary uh, galactic energy, just someone very otherworldly or something very, there's something about this person. Um, there's like a mission here with this judgment. There's an awakening and ascension energy. This person has something they're supposed to be doing. So someone tried to block something that is like bigger than whatever their own kind of personal perception is. Um, and now they're feeling the effects of it. The magician. So I feel like they feel like you are a master manifester. Um, that is all there is to it. Uh, devil reverse in the near future. I feel like whoever this is is trying to shake off some darker energy they embraced. It's like sticking to them. And it's they maybe embraced it when they felt like they were invincible or in some sort of a power position. But it's like a facade or trickery. Um, standing out to me here is this Knight of Swords reverse and this Page of Swords reverse. So someone is either looking at someone who is doing something very hastily reacting to something, um, goss gossip, spying, slander, and something's becoming very clear karmically about that, um, or they are still doing this now. It could have something to do, someone might have regret for that, or they want to commit to a stronger spirit or to someone with a stronger spirit, someone who's very courageous in a, in a very positive way, inner spirit, strong inner spirit, balanced ego. Um, two of cups there seems to be some type of like connection involved with this some kind of a soulmate connection could be love and romance or it could be business or friendship family there's two people here that are meant to be or there's something about this connection that is is of importance that's in the environment it's something that everyone can see Hopes and fears. Ten of Pentacles, Six of Cups reversed. This is some sort of family wealth or windfall, generational wealth, luxurious lifestyle, enough money, enough money to give, enough money to keep growing, um, enough money to build but there's some issue with it in connection to someone from the past where there was unconditional love. No forgiveness, a lack of forgiveness. Maybe someone feels like someone this master manifester, things are going really well for them. They're like inspirational, something about this person, they're a manifester. Someone feels like maybe that was their four of wands. 1111 kind of counterpart, some structured home home or environment. Um, someone's receiving karma for blocking this or they wish they could go back with this choice here. They feel blocked. They might feel like this This is someone from the past they, they shared unconditional love with that is like attached to some sort of generational wealth. Um, people around them might feel like this is their counterpart. Um, or something's very clear to people about someone's counterpart or two people that's in the environment. Outcome, two of swords. 
someone's on the fence, someone's blocking something, someone's in denial, someone doesn't want to um, make a decision. Three of Wands, this is about someone's ships coming in, someone's eyes on the prize, some sort of um, arrival, or someone's waiting for some something. The Wheel of Fortune. Reverse, someone is receiving karma. After a series of choices, looks like this wants to come out. It's definitely in correlation with something that is coming to you. And somehow, or some evidence or something tangible has come up. It's, it's, it's corresponding with something good happening in your life. Marriage reverse. Yeah, they wish they could, they married someone, they wish they could go back and do something with... Someone tried to keep two people apart, or someone didn't marry who they feel is their four of wands, not happy home life, canceled party, spoiled party, not a good time, bad luck. This is not their counterpart. Four of swords in reverse in the subconscious. Something about putting in the effort. It's tough to put in the effort. Someone's not well or someone's under a lot of stress or something like that subconsciously, like they can't go on. Um, or being unwell, someone's not well. Someone, someone is doing very well here. Message of concern. Someone got a message about someone. Someone is, it's an awakening or a reckoning or, um, a wake up call in regards to this star energy. Someone is a star, someone is born to shine. Someone is very um, a healer or a visionary. They are celebrated. Um, they're taking this leap of faith. They're in control of their environment and someone is getting a message about this. And it's very clear. They, they might wanna join this person. Community, no, they see this person manifesting something in the community or with a group of people they feel like this person's in charge of their environment while they're receiving this bad luck or karma after a series of choices and they've got to let go of this devil energy or else is what it feels like to them some sort of obsession with a feminine energy that has to be let go of in the near future Someone came after someone, or there's gossip and spying around someone's work. Um, and someone really regrets that because this person um, is very committed to what they do, and they're very, um, they're very balanced, and they have a strong spirit. They, someone tried to bully someone who's very balanced with a strong spirit around their work. Two of Cups, there's some sort of a soulmate connection that's of interest here to people. People are all seeing something in the environment. Um, something about a blocked message is connected. Someone didn't get a message or there's something that's blocked. Someone can't message someone or there's something that's blocked with this Two of Cups situation. And here is a very similar energy with the Six of Cups. It's like there's a problem with this person from the past where there was unconditional love. Is there some sort of fear around this? That it's o that it's over forever? Or someone wants it to be over forever, it could, depending on who this is. Someone will get rich, or there's someone there's money or wealth connected to this. It's, it's tangible wealth. It's not metaphorical, this is money. Um, big money attached to someone from the past where there's like no forgiveness. Um, two of Swords, someone's on the fence, or someone's trying to cause a, a stalemate, or someone's not making a choice. Um, tr someone's trying to cause some sort of a stalemate in regards to a, a situation where there's a paper trail, some sort of like paperwork, having to do some official paperwork. Someone's trying to create a stalemate. There's a main male here as well that's involved. This could be who who it is. This is a colleague, a friend, a family member um, that is involved in this. This could be the person that's receiving this karma. Watching someone else um, 
They could have blocked a message or created a false message around a two of cups situation. There's some sort of evidence of something or something is going well for, for someone. And for them, that means um, the wheel of fate, things are not working out for them. You know, I feel like you don't think this way, but whoever this is, depending on what they did, I mean, it could be karma based on what they tried to do to you and they wish they could take it back, but they're seeing signs that that along with whatever this misfortune is or the series of, of, of events that are very tough are correlating with good things happening in your life. So whoever this is, is like aware of what's going on in your life. Um, unexpected income. Yes, yeah, some thief is being let go of. Someone tried to steal something. This Ace of Pentacles, whoever tried to steal something, they're going through bad fortune and it looks like you're getting what's yours. So they're correlating it with their life because it feels like karma. It feels like karma for trying to steal something. Thief, reverse. They tried to steal something from you. It's back in your hands and now they're getting karma. They wish they could go back and do something. Um, someone was really trying to come after someone or something like that. Um, they blocked a marriage or they blocked a, a union or they got in the middle of something. They were really, really um, after someone here with this soldier. They wish they could go back. Or someone feels stolen from. Someone feels stolen from and now they're on the wrong side of the wheel. They feel they could feel stolen from by this colleague or this is this colleague that wishes they could go back. Someone tried to definitely someone tried to block someone's milestones, their happy life, their Eden on Earth. Now they feel blocked. Um, merchant reverse. Someone is losing money or they're not able to do business. They're continuing on in spite of dire stress. I feel this is what they tried to do to someone else. There's someone who's not well here. They're really having a tough time. It's like business is either slow or they're getting blocked or something they're having a tough time and it's playing out physically or they just really need to a break but they can't take one because they need to generate money or they need to try to keep business going but that's the hardest part um they don't feel like they have a lot of energy left to keep going something became very clear in the recent past a foe is being released it's this jealous feminine and someone's in a lot of dis despair about this it's a it's a calling about this star energy who's got control of their life and is taking a leap of faith and is being celebrated the community is celebrating is um supporting this person so some house is falling apart that could be any place where people can conglomerate together someone has to let go of this obsession being this um feminine energy's enemy if they don't Something's going to keep getting worse in the near future. Um, occupation, Knight of Swords. Someone tried to bully someone in their work. Um, not a surprise. They're not surprised by something. Um, someone didn't take a loss. Someone regrets something. Someone didn't take a loss. Someone's in regret. Everyone is gossiping. People are... This person... Someone's lying. Someone's stalking. Someone's watching someone. There's a bully who's watching someone in regards to their occupation. It's not a surprise. Some, and someone didn't take a loss. Maybe they feel like this star energy um, has been very much aware of what's been going on and they regret what they did because they feel foolish. This person has is like very committed to keeping a balanced spirit and to whatever they're doing occupation wise. They didn't take this loss and they're not surprised or they, someone's not surprised. There's a blocked message in regards to this two of cups. Someone tried to block a message because of a, a soulmate connection between two people 
or someone was very unspiritual or they they seem very lower vibrational uh like spiritually lower vibrational they they tried to block something they seem very like they like a spiritual block or something a spiritual someone trying to block something who's like spiritually dark like dark energy and that's in the environment so that's interesting someone who's worried or they're hoping something's over it or they blocked something having to do with these two people from the past and so there's a masculine energy that's turned upside down here because of this blockage between someone from the past and this wealth someone lost a gift and someone's trying to create some kind of a stalemate in a courthouse situation in regards to this gift or someone who's lost a gift is doesn't want to see something they don't want to take responsibility. They want to create a stalemate. Someone's trying not to be in sorrow over whatever this is. Someone's in sorrow over someone's ships coming in, someone's eye on the prize. Um, the battery might run out. So let me just fix that. All right, so let's do one more pass. Pass. This whole cough blocking thing is played out and they can't do it. It's done. They gotta stop whatever this obsession is with you. It's over. I mean, it could be like they can't because they're the circumstances in their life are there's no room left to do that and take care of themselves because they've got to deal with the aftermath or like energy backfiring into their life from trying to steal um from you so that could be why it's over it's just they can't continue on they're under stress someone could be unwell that's what it's like the universe is like Someone's like trying to hold on like this and the universe is just peeling someone's fingers off of the situation because they cannot, they, they cannot continue. Thief reverse. Someone's, someone is not broke. Or someone could be trying to recover. Someone tried to steal something from someone who's not broke. Whoever that is that's just trying to steal. Um, this Ace of Pentacles, this blessing is returned to the rightful owner. This person is not broke. And whoever it is that tried to steal whatever this blessing is, is losing and on the wrong side of the wheel. They shouldn't have said what they said about you, and it's not true that you ain't shit. They wish they could go back. They tried to block you, they talked about you, they tried to steal from you. It's And they also talked, yeah, they said things. And they might have even really believed their own hype with this ain't shit. They, whoever this is can really see the correlation between what they did to you and what's happening in their life. And they really want to take it back. There's something about merchant reversed or having trouble with buying and selling, looking you up, researching you, studying you. I don't know what that is. Merchant buying or selling something, looking you up. Someone's not putting the work in. They can't do it anymore. They're too stressed getting sick doing it. Someone's in despair. Have to let go of this jealous feminine energy who's acting cold all the time. I can't, they can't keep doing it. You're on, you're on your way. This very inspirational, hopeful energy, a light, light worker, a star, galactic energy. The universe is on your side. Gabriel's horns have been uh, blowing or are blowing. 
It's very clear. Whoever this is that's attached to this karmic feminine who's been very jealous of you, um, trying to say terrible things about you um, and do, do things to block you. Um, it's either this karmic feminine that's going through this or it's a masculine energy that's attached. Um, I'm, I'm not seeing your person from the past here. I'm seeing a karmic feminine. Uh, I'm seeing um, like a colleague or a friend um, or something like that. I mean, it could be who who's in despair here, so I'm going to take that back. But it does this karmic feminine is in reverse here, so it's someone who's jealous and a foe. They're being let go of, or they're they're the universe has made a final judgment, and someone's in despair over what they did or said in regards to you. And it's very clear you're on your way. You're a master manifester. It's like taking down their group or whatever it is in the community. Yeah, talking shit reverses under the deck. They can't keep doing it. Um, they're going broke and you're gaining back whatever was stolen. Um, you're ignoring or they're being ignored. You're ignoring them. You're moving forward. Um, someone has to let go of being your enemy. Um, Giving someone money is reversing this boss daddy. It's got to let go of this enemy. Um, Knight of Swords, Page of Swords reverse. This bully, bully is always stalking and watching, having to do with your occupation. Um, so that's why it's not a surprise. They always do this. It's not a surprise, it's like a, a habit, trying to stalk you and block you. That's what they're looking at. It's all day, every day, having to do with your occupation, um, in, and you're not rejected. Someone is like spending their life effort, their life energy, their chi, their chi, their entire chi, trying to block you and your work, talking about you, um, whatever it is with the occupation. Um, and the thing is, is that you're very, you're just very dedicated and you have a strong spirit. So whoever this is, is like regretting either being attached to this person or the person themselves. They've wasted their life. They're wasting their life. Whoever this is that's attached to this energy is, is losing. Either they're attached to a karmic feminine that's doing it or they're doing it. And I don't know, they supported this person um, or it's this person themselves or whoever it is that tried to block this four of wands also is like having a tough time. There seems to be some sort of a union or you seem to be like some kind of a two of cups, twin flamey person, or there's some kind of high level spiritual connection between two people. that's very apparent in the environment and that there's someone holding a grudge who's got, who's really low vibrational. Someone's holding a grudge towards two people who are very connected, like to a spiritual connection. There's someone who's very clearly holding a grudge against two people. Well, there's some type of a grudge, some spiritual, low vibrational spiritual energy around that. Someone's really worried they're not going to be able to dust something off in connection to this uh, unconditional love from the past that it's over. Um, and there's also money attached. Someone is on the fence. Someone's trying to create a stalemate. They don't want to make a choice in regards to this court case. Someone lost a gift. It has to do with a romantic affair. Um, something to do with fake accounts and fishing for comments. There's some kind of like, maybe there's some sort of legal trail of something. There's some kind of a trail that's some, something like that. The tr paperwork, paper trail. Someone might have done something that is like they're trying. They're trying to. They've got to make a choice. There's something about something official, official document. Someone lost a gift. It has to do with romantic affair. It's something about a fake account being seen. Something about um, 
someone not being able to look through someone's comments or something like that. Someone's crying over you. Wow. Yeah, if you resonate with this message, I hope that it helps. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.